you championed the passage of that bill, uh, if I'm correct. Now, do you think the youths are ready? And also, since the passage of that bill, uh, no youth has actually been elected as a, a senator or a House of Reps member, or even a governor or a president. Are you disappointed with the fact? No, I'm not disappointed with the fact. And I don't think it's actually accurate that it, no youth has been elected into those offices. Uh, let me give you a picture of what happened before the, the passage of Not Too Young to Run. The youth representation in Nigeria, pre the passage of Not Too Young to Run, was about 5%. So in 2015, only three, only three young people under 30, under 35, were elected into the House of Reps. There were just three of them. Because our youth definition is 18 to 35. But the current national youth policy classifies youth as 18 to 29 and not 35. But we look at the African Charter. And that's where we were in, 20, in 2015. When the bill was passed, and there were only three um, amendments that were made to age criteria. First was for state houses of assemblies. The age was reduced from 30 to 25. House of Reps was reduced from 30 to 25, and the president was reduced from 40 to 35. The governor and the Senate um, age criteria was retained at 35. Therefore, if we strictly adopt the age definition of, of youth as, as at 35, mm -hmm. it means that both for Senate and the governors, no young person is qualified to run for those seats. So that explains why you probably don't have um, those young people. But if you look at this House of Assemblies, as of 2019, there were 22 young people between 25 and 29 who are in the State House of Assemblies as of today. We have four speakers of State Houses of Assemblies who got into office at 31, 32, 33. Plateau, Kwara, Zamfara, and Oyo State. So you see that the figures are increasing, but they aren't where we want to be. In the House of Reps, there are about 13 of them who are under 35 as of 2019. And so the percentage of youth representation in elective offices shot to about 6.6%. That's where we are. And that's abysmally low because out of 1,558 elective positions where INEC conduct elections, you have only about 103 led by, that are occupied by young people, and that's 6.6%. And we are hopeful that in 2023, we're going to have more young people in, in, in office. Um, you can see post the answers, a lot of young people are getting more interested and then getting ready. I don't believe that young people are not ready. There are lots of young people who are ready. Um, and I know that um, come 2023, 20, we're going to ensure that we have a lot of young people in the State House of Assemblies and the National Assembly. But more importantly, it's not young men, but young women, because we want to encourage more young women to get politically active and run for office. And we do all we can as a generation to support them.